got the uh, pl uh, privilege today and the pleasure to talk with Dimitri uh, Manukas. I assume that's Dimitri, how you pronounce your last name? Manukas, pretty Manukas. close. Manukas, okay, very good. And Dimitri is a product manager at Dorman Products. Now, Dorman is located in Pennsylvania, and among the many products that they've been making, Wow, since I think I looked at the website, something like 1916. <laughs> 1918, yeah. Yeah, so you guys are almost coming up on a century here. Uh, is a replacement battery pack for hybrids. And we're actually uh, off of his uh, right shoulder there. We see a, uh, a battery pack uh, that uh, obviously goes in the Generation 2 Toyota Prius. So, Dimitri, welcome to EV World. Thank you. Good to have Thank you, you here. Us. And, and by the way, guys, thank you so much. Uh, the readers might be familiar if they look at the website. We've uh, had a, a banner link on the uh, website to alert people to this new product, and we're pleased to do that uh, for you guys. Let's start off, first of all, by talking about how did a company that, to be honest with you, I've never heard of, although I lived in Pennsylvania for a couple of years over uh, near Harrisburg, um, how did you guys decide to get into the uh, replacement battery pack for hybrids business? Well, it, it kind of was a consequence of our, of our business model. Dorman has for years now really focused on bringing to the aftermarket parts that are, are not serviced by anybody else, non-conventional parts, and those have really been our, our success stories, if you may. Okay. So we have a, a broad network and a, a fairly intricate system for gathering new ideas and requests. Um, we maintain a council across the country of repair facilities that actually feed us not only feedback on our parts, but new product ideas for vehicles that are coming out of warranty, sometimes second owner vehicles where they really have absolutely no loyalty to the dealership. They need parts right. and all they can get a set of rotors and pads for the car. They can't necessarily get a purge valve or a replacement canister or a power steering pump pulley. You know, from door handles to hybrid batteries, now we try to meet their needs. Wow. So, so give me a sense. How many products is it that you guys manufacture then? Um, we distribute probably upwards of, that's, that's a good question. I want to say in excess of 90,000 SKUs. Wow. But uh, I think, I think I'm, I'm getting some feedback from my coworkers here, and they're saying. <laughs> Even so, more than that, like, so. Anyone who spent five minutes on our website knows there's a lot of there's parts. There's a lot of stuff there for a wide variety of, auto, I assume, automotive primarily products? Yes, correct, yes. Okay, all right, very good. Well, and as you do know. Okay, so this, so this is real. So when did, when did the whole hybrid battery thing, when did you start getting feedback uh, on that? When did that start? We probably started, the ideas started trickling in probably about two years ago when we were first looking at certain replacement parts, a lot of questions on replacement parts that were just for the hybrid, like the shifter mechanism for the Hondas as well as the uh, uh, Toyotas. Um, we got some ideas on inverter pumps before they went on recall from Toyota. But batteries specifically, pretty much for the past like year, year and a half, um, there was a, a kind of like a, a, a void of information from these vehicle owners that really had no options. I mean, there, were, there, there was nobody else really credible that they could go out and get a replacement battery or even get their battery diagnosed. Yeah, It yeah. was one of those shotgun repairs even for the dealerships. Um, a lot of dealerships that, that we speak to, because we, we, we obviously talk to them also, the technician basically gets a code and his, his um, diagnostic tree is basically replace the battery assembly. Right. You know, right. There, there, there's no real information nor equipment to really be able to diagnose these things. So you've got, uh, I noticed when I looked at the website, you've got a number of different battery packs that you have available now. You've got obviously the Generation 2 Prius pack. I noticed that there was a, uh, a pack there for the Honda Civic Hybrid. So give me a sense, what, what, what do you have now that's available and what do, you, uh, what do you have in the works? Well, if you went over to my desk, you'd see a lot more batteries. But right <laughs> now, we offer the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 Prius, as well okay. as the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 Honda Civic. Um, the ones that are coming out after that, and we should be seeing them by the end of this year, are the Honda Accord, the Toyota Camry. Beginning of next year, we're hoping to have the Escape, which is really going to be a, a huge home run because it's a very heavily fleet-used vehicle. There are a lot of them in circulation, and that is an incredibly high sticker shock price at the dealership for that battery, running around $9,000. So it's, uh, it is going to be very well received in the aftermarket. Yeah. Well, uh, 
Go ahead. And we also have the insight, of course. Okay. Um, I noticed when I was looking through the list that you've got in development, uh, I did not see the Honda Insight Generation One battery pack there, and I had one of the actually had one of the early uh, Insights, and I think I had something right around twenty twenty five thousand miles on it when the battery pack needed to be replaced on that, and that of course was still under warranty. So, so what are you what are you seeing, you know, in terms of life expectancies obviously if, if there's enough of a market for you guys to get into this business there's enough of a market I mean so what 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 typically are you seeing here in terms of app potential numbers I it's definitely I would feel absolutely comfortable saying it's definitely a, a, a when replacement versus an if replacement right. um, the battery pack is a wear item um, it will definitely fail in the lifetime of the vehicle 25,000 miles definitely seems a little bit on the on the light side as far as age, yeah. uh, but for Honda, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Uh, we've seen failures as mature mature vehicle uh, lifespans around 80,000 all the way up to 200,000 is really kind of the butter zone where the majority of them are going to fail. Um, at the Apex show in, in uh, earlier this month, I had a gentleman come up to me with a Gen 1 Prius. He had 325,000 miles. Wow. On his factory battery. On the same pack. Um, so, so it, it really does vary, but for your standard driving, taking into consideration kind of the distribution of those vehicles as far as climate, because climate definitely does affect how the hybrid drive system is used by the vehicle and thus how the battery is exercised, yeah. um, it can definitely affect the lifespan of the vehicle, your driving habits, if you do a lot of short commutes, if you do a lot of stop and go, or if you're commuting 60 miles on the highway at 70 miles an hour. All that kind of goes into uh, determining what the potential lifespan of that battery is. Right. Well, let's talk about some of the guts that uh, that I see behind us there now. This obviously looks like it's sort of a drop-in um, mod that uh, goes into the car that would fit. Uh, you know, we take the old pack out, we drop the new replacement pack in, and you know, plug things in, turn the breaker, you know, the bus bar back on, and and I assume good to go. Uh, so talk about some of the guts here. I mean, one of the things, obviously, that would concern me is what are you guys using for the battery cells? Are you using Panasonic, using Sanyo's, or are you using some you know, Chinese brand? Give me a little bit of sense of that. I'll, I'll try to answer all those questions. You asked for quite a bit, so okay. I'll kind of gnaw off as I go, and if I missed anything, you can bring me back on task. Sure. Um, yes, like every other dormant part, um, it, it, Reman line, we tried to come with a, an all-encompassing solution. So we want it to be drop-in. We want it to be as easy as possible for the professional installer or the end user. So we include everything in it, unlike Toyota, where they do sell you a replacement module pack. These are the modules that I'm pointing at right now. These are actually the individual modules that are right. wired in series. Yeah. We actually provide already pre-wired the bus bar as well as the battery ECU. We test and verify that everything is working properly. Now that includes the ECU as well as the output stage relays. Obviously we do not include the safety key which plugs in on the side there. I think it's a little off of frame but that's because you can reuse that from your old one. Right. So a little simplified and just drop it in and go but yes it is really pretty much that simple. You remove the other one obviously observing all the special instructions and in training that you should have to do it and then basically drop the new one back or our replacement unit back in. Um, connect the wires, connect the key. You don't need a scan tool. There's no programming that's required or anything like that. It should be ready to go for a long service life. Okay, uh, so cells? Cells, as far as all the cells that we do, our product is remanufactured. So our cells are factory cells. Okay. They're Panasonic cells as well as Sanyo's in, in uh, Honda vehicles. Toyota used the Panasonic cell. Uh, Honda used a, a Sanyo cell. Okay. Um, okay. We have a, a specific proprietary method of being able to evaluate each module individually okay. and then basically bring it back to a state where it can accept a charge and be discharged at a rate that brings it nearly back to its exact factory spec. So these are six and a half amp hour capacity modules. Each one of these are six right. and a half amp hours. The battery is wired in series, which means this entire pack is at six and a half amp hour capacity pack. And as the battery ages, these modules lose the ability 
to, uh, to hold that capacity, to basically store that much energy. Anyone who's had rechargeable batteries, uh, nickel metal hydride, yeah. nickel cadmium, for those of us who are a little older like me, right. uh, or even lithium, like laptop batteries, you know, after a couple of years, they, they don't last as long. They discharge a lot quicker, and they also charge a lot quicker, and they get hotter. So this is kind of the aging cycle. We're able to basically extend that capacity back out to its factory spec. Okay, and that's using, I assume then, what are you... You're buying these from a battery recycler, KBI, or someone like our that? Initial, our, our initial inventory, basically we use the same, the same um, channels that we use for our instrument cluster line or our climate control headline. We bring as many cores in as we can from the aftermarket, be it through salvage yards, be it through uh, independent uh, repair facilities that were hybrid specialists that were right. replacing batteries with Toyota ones, but they weren't doing anything with the old units or the units that basically tested badly. We bring all of those in and then fully disassemble them and evaluate them as individual pieces. Oh, okay. Well, there's a conversation I want to have with you about another pro project I'm working on later, not within the context of this interview. So, all right, so, so I'm guessing then that the market for this product are probably sort of independent um, repair shops as opposed to your Toyota dealer or your your Honda dealer, or or is 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 the Honda dealer under any obligation to go buy a pack from Honda to to replace? I couldn't necessarily speak for what obligations they have, but I could tell you that we've definitely sold them to dealerships. Okay, um, our market is basically everybody. I mean, what we're trying to do is is empower and give customers from vehicle owners to repair facility owners to used car lot owners to used car departments at dealerships the option of being able to do something other than go get either a remanufactured or a new pack from the OE manufacturer. We want to be able to give them the choice that there's something else out there that has a, a superior warranty and will uh, will far outlast uh, will far outlast the battery that they're replacing. Okay, well, let's talk about warranty. I mean, that would be my, that was my next obvious question: is what kind of a warranty are you offering then? I'm, I'm glad you asked because I, I feel proud to say that I'm very proud of our warranty. Our warranty is a three-year full replacement, no prorate. Okay. So we will stand by this product for three years. I doubt it, but if in two years, eleven months, and twenty days you have a problem. You call up where you got the battery from, and you'll be receiving another one. You won't be getting, you know, five dollars worth of credit towards a new right, one. Right, right. We'll stand by at hundred percent for at least three years. Okay, that's pretty cool. Well, let's talk about pricing then. So, I happen to have a Toyota Prius uh, Gen Two, which might need one of those behind you there. What would I expect to uh, pay? Without wanting to talk exact specific numbers. We're going to be looking at a bare minimum about 15% off of what the dealer's discounted price would be retail. Okay. So if, if the dealership is selling it for $2,000 after all the incentives and everything, we should be hitting the street at about $1,750. Okay. Um, there's okay. a little, that margin's a little tighter with the Hondas, and that's only because Hondas really um, aggressively tried to address their problem with their batteries. Yeah. And they've really, as OB manufacturers sometimes do, they've really kind of tried to drop the cost to try to take a little bit of the bite out of the, the new vehicle owners that are, that are having, or the, the original vehicle owners that are having a problem with their battery. Right. Um, but we're still competitive against them. And we, we far surpassed their warranty, being that they only offer at best a 12-month warranty. And that's a dealership 12-month warranty, which we all know can be a little complicated, especially with an electrical part, um, with the three-year warranty that we offer. Okay. Now, I, I'm not all that handy as a mechanic, so I'm not going to be doing this myself. But there might be somebody out there who's, you know, what we refer to as a shade tree mechanic kind of thing. I mean, who do you, who do you, if I called you up and said, uh, I'm going to replace this as a, as a consumer, would you sell it to me or do you prefer to go obviously through an established dealer.